Hello and welcome to my latest new rack video. Uh, this time we want to take a look at two of the latest features, the uh, MIDI strummer and the sound font player. Now what you can see in front of you is the MIDI strummer. It's a self-contained module that actually generates MIDI information and can be used to create arpeggios and strumming patterns, uh, similar to what you would get with a guitar. So this module has eight configurable pads and you can assign chords to each pad and I'm manually uh, pressing the pads here to change chord. The MIDI strummer is then turning those chords into note on and off information which is being sent to at the minute Chameleon and synced to tempo. So let's have a listen to some finger picking. <laughs> Of course you can output to uh, any app of your choice uh, as long as it accepts MIDI input. Um, it's advisable to use something where you can actually have some release time. I think it sounds better when your guitar sounds have got release. Now although there's no visual feedback here I'm just running my finger across the notes on the strings and it's generating a strum. Uh, there's actually strum up and strum down buttons at the bottom of this interface and that, at the speed of that is controlled by the uh, strum speed on the right. Now although I've added a few uh, strumming patterns and arpeggios uh, as variations here, you can actually create your own. If you click the uh, edit variation button, um, you can create anything up to 64 beats in length. Now each note can have a velocity and each column, each vertical column, can be told whether it's a strum up or a strum down. And if you tap on the little number at the top of the column, you get to choose that. Now, I think most people will want to use this alongside their favorite synth engine or sampler, um, and that's understandable. But I just want to introduce the second new component here, which is the MIDI sound font player, which can be found in the generators category. Now this actually ships with a, a pretty minimalistic sound font installed but you can actually install your own uh, SF2 and DLS sound fonts. Um, these can be found all over the web but I've got one here, it's a Guitars Universal sound font and I picked actually a Roland sample from it. And since these are dry samples here I'm just going to add a, a simple delay to this just to make it sound a little bit nicer. So let's have a listen to that. I've actually used the same set of chords throughout those examples so you can always press the generate button at any time and generate a set of chords using a root note and scale and that will generate a set of eight chords that actually work well together. Um, now you might need to adjust the inversions there just to get them to sound as you want especially if some of the chords are generated and don't play all the strings. Um, obviously if you're a guitar player you'll know you mute a lot of strings. Um, so you might want to find uh, an inversion that doesn't have so many strings muted. 
Now while it's obvious this was designed for guitar like sounds you could use any sound that's kind of got a plucky feel to it. So let's just take a look at something else uh, just to give you a, another idea of how it can be used. <laughs> So that just about covers the uh, latest additions to uh, new rack 1.21 uh, these will be available very soon uh, so thank you for watching and see you next time